Hi there, this is Ross of Woodfire Power, and I'm going to do a second episode. It'll be middle of January before my son Ari and I head off on our trip around the country. We're going to leave from Grass Valley, Northern California, to uh, head over to Iowa and caucus for Yang in Iowa. Then from there, after February 3rd vote, we will head to New Hampshire um, until their vote, down to South Carolina until their vote, And then from there, we'll just kind of go all over, hopefully to Disney World in Florida, and then across Alabama, Louisiana, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, back through Nevada and up to uh, Northern California again. So that's the journey we're going to do. What I plan to do is to create a series of questions, probably five questions. For example, I might ask... You know, I'm I'm wearing a math hat. For all of you following Andrew Yang, you know it means make America think harder. But for the average person, it means math, mathematics. So if I ask a question, do you know what math stands for? You know, they'll say, oh, well, addition, subtraction, blah, blah, blah. Only people who have actually learned about Andrew Yang's policies will say, make America think harder. So by asking that simple question, I will be able to determine how many people have looked at Andrew Yang's policies. Then I'm going to ask a second question. It's going to be, do you know who Andrew Yang is? Now, most people around here, about 9 out of 10, say, no, I've never heard of Andrew Yang. And um, anyone who does know Andrew Yang or Make America Think Harder is going to, you know, when I say math, oh, you know, maybe it's two plus two or something. But when I ask who do you know Andrew Yang, they'll say, oh, right, Make America Think Harder, you know. But they haven't really looked into his policy. The question I'm probing actually is what percentage of people being canvassed today in the polls today actually know who Andrew Yang is and what his policies are. Because if you don't know who he is and you don't know what his policies are and you're polled, you're going to answer, oh, I'm for Bernie Sanders or Joe Biden or Elizabeth Warren or whoever. And so if 5% of the people say they're for Yang, but only 10% know about Yang, Yang at all, let alone his policies, it means that Andrew Yang is pulling somewhere between 50% and 100% of the people that actually bother to learn about his policies. And that's the point, is that he's not pulling at 5%. That's complete BS. He's pulling more like 50% at a minimum. So this series and this uh, drive across the states and the little uh, interviews that I will be doing, and I'll begin them this week here in California, will have to do with exploring that ratio. And what I expect is that as the polls continue, the number of endorsements grow, and the media blackout lifts as Andrew Yang hopefully with fourth quarter earnings, or not earnings, I, I've been writing for years for uh, investment magazines, sorry if I say earnings all the time, but anyway, donations. So if his fourth quarter donations are shocking to the world or the United States, then he's going to have to be taken seriously. And from the recent letter from Elizabeth Warren, saying that she's having trouble and was only at 17 million. Um, I think Andrew Yang's going to pass 20 million, so it's likely he's going to pass Elizabeth Warren. But if you take a look at YouTube polls, um, in other words, trends, Google trends for the web and for YouTube, what you can see is that for each of the different candidates, they are trending down and to the right, meaning a smaller number of people are supporting them as time goes on. They're all kind of flat, you know, or a little bit down from flat. Elizabeth Warren is probably trending down the most rapidly. So I would expect Elizabeth Warren is going to be out very soon and her votes are going to go to whomever. 
Joe Biden is in the lead, but as far as I'm concerned, that's simply because people want somebody that's going to beat Trump and they think he's the best candidate. Listen, people, Joe Biden is not going to beat Trump. Trump will kill him. Well, not literally, but figuratively in, in the debates, Trump will just murder Biden. He will tear Bernie Sanders to pieces. He will crucify Pocahontas, Elizabeth Warren, and he will crush Pete Buttigieg. I don't care which of those four are in there. The only one who is just unassailable is Andrew Yang. He's the only one that Trump cannot get in and pick to pieces by some stupid little name. Andrew jokingly said that he thought Trump would uh, call him Comrade Yang because he's Asian. I don't think he'll do that because it would be a racial epithet, but anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, I expect Yang's going to win it cleanly. I expect Yang's going to win both the Democratic uh, candidate vote as well as the general election vote by a landslide, much like and probably uh, with a bigger margin than what uh, FDR did long ago. Yeah, if you looked at my first video, you saw that. So that's where I'm coming from. Um, I've read everyone's comments so far. I'm sure there will in the future be too many for me to read them all, but I read as many as I can, especially the first day or two. And so if you have suggestions for things you would like me to look into, please let me know. I'm thinking that in the near future I'll do some interviews of some of the homeless people around here and what the UBI would mean to them.